So I'm currently waiting for the bus. Honestly, it's been a long time since I've taken a bus in Taiwan because subway is so convenient. And I actually had a trauma happen with the bus. So yeah, I'm a little bit tiny bit nervous right now. Hey guys, it's Iris. So I'm currently on the bus. Honestly, this is my first time in a long time to get on the bus and you know go out of the city of Taipei because the subway is just so convenient and it pretty much reaches everywhere that I would normally go. And this time I'm out to visit a friend that lives a little bit further away. And so why exactly am I scared of the buses in Taipei? Well, that was back when I had a pretty traumatic experience with the buses here. When I was 15, I remember, and I remember it was like in the evening, it was kind of late, it was kind of dark, and me and my mom and my sister, we were bound to my grandparents' place, and um, my dad was busy in that day, so he couldn't take us, and that was a pretty rare occasion, <laughs> considering that we don't usually take the bus, and what happened? Was we're about to get off and the bus stops all of a sudden because a scooter came out of nowhere and we were basically thrown against the window almost because I hit I remember it was so painful that my back hit the cash box and my mom I remember when I realized when it happened my mom and my sister they were thrown into this Hit because the bus was raised a little bit to get on where you get on because of the wheels and whatever and they were thrown into the pit and my mom lost two teeth her front teeth because of that and that was that was the biggest incident I had so far It is pretty tricky that you have to press this bell in order to get off or else you might as well just stay on the bus forever. Uh, <laughs> finally arrived and luckily my friend was at the bus stop. So I yeah, it was pretty adventurous move for me because I could have got lost and got sent out to in the middle of nowhere but yeah I ride safely and um, yeah I think I paid twice with my yo-yo card yo-yo card <laughs> because I didn't see that when you get on the bus you see on top of your head you see uh, if you pay when you get off or if you, whether you pay when you get on and I didn't see that, and I didn't know, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Alright, now subscribe and see more of my, I guess, lost adventures, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. I'm still traumatized, but bye. With the minimum wage in Taiwan, which is widely talked about that, 
you would take at least 50 years of no water, no food, no expenses, anything of the sort to afford a reasonable size place. Because these 50, 60 year old apartments is right now listed as 1.6 million USD.